How's it going guys, Adam Bonjavani back here with another Thursday video for you. Before I start, I wanna let you guys know, for our upcoming videos, every single video we're gonna be giving something away. Whether it's a book, whether it's a gift card, we're gonna be doing giveaways every single video. And there's gonna be many different ways to win. Uh, one week I might say, be the first person to comment this word wins. The next week I might say, if you answer this trivia question correctly, you win. Stay alert to this channel every single Thursday we are gonna be doing this. So please, our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, stay alert to both of those. Put your notifications on. So this week I ventured to another town to visit another bookstore, but I, I want to switch it up a little bit. I feel like there's an ongoing discussion between bookworms. Like what's better? The, the big corporation Barnes & Noble and the big stores like that and Barnes & Noble is obviously the leader or use bookstores. So today we're going to compare both of those. It's also a bookshop tour. So today I decided to go to both. I went to Clark, New Jersey, and I went to a used bookstore called The Book Trader. And then after that, I went to a Barnes & Noble. It's about 15 minutes from where I live. Picked up my friend Austin, who's also uh, a lover of books and someone that can appreciate reading like I do. And we drove to The Book Trader. But before I went, I did some research. About three, four years ago, there was a, a store in my town, a, a used bookstore in the town I recently moved to. And I always wanted to go, and I never did. And then one day, they packed up their things, and they left. I found out today that they were in my town for 38 years and then they moved to Clark to this new location. I had no idea it was the same store. So I've been wanting to go to this store for years. They moved and now I'm finally getting to go there. First of all, when you when you walk up to this place, it has its kind of own little parking lot. It's an adorable small little location. You walk in, you see these three big different aisles. And at first I'm like, okay, like this is it. It's just there's these three aisles with tons and tons of paperback books. There's just books everywhere. So of course, that's that's always a positive. So we walked around a little bit, explored the first three aisles, and then I, I kind of saw in the third aisle that you could go a little further back. So I was like, you know what, I want to adventure throughout this whole place. So I, we went a little further back, and then I realized that there's a whole new room, and it's kind of almost like, it wasn't a secret room, but it definitely wasn't what I expected to be there. So you go in and there's another three, four aisles of books. I don't know about you guys, but like, my room, I want it to be clean. My my house wanted to be clean. Bathroom clean. Bookstores don't be clean. I want books everywhere. And there's something so magical about books just kind of laid out everywhere. Uh, the cool thing about this store also is there was a lot of like random deals. Like it'd be like this cart is one dollar cash only. Out front of the store there was like these books are fifty cents each. And I said this last time, but I always appreciate when books stores, especially used bookstores where the books are already extremely cheap, where they kind of have these discounts for people who might not be able to afford more expensive books. But the cool thing about this used bookstore, I didn't realize this. My friend Austin actually told me. He said they had a lot of high quality Harry Potter books. They had kind of new, some newer material that you wouldn't expect a used bookstore to have. So the variety in this bookstore was extremely Cool. What I what I also plan to do with these book tours, since I'm bringing my friend Austin along with me, everywhere we go, I'm gonna buy him a different book. He was kind of looking around and he he saw a John Grisham book. For those who don't know, John Grisham is an author, obviously. He told me a story about John Grisham that I didn't know. Um, when he was an up and coming author and really didn't have anything going for him and was trying to make it, he was looking for a place to stay. I don't know if he was on a, on the road doing something, but he was looking for a place to stay and this hotel put him up. They didn't ask for any money for him. So when he became a really famous and successful writer, every year apparently he goes back to that hotel. When he does his book tours, he like promotes that hotel or does something along those lines. He helps out the people who helped him out when he was nothing, which is awesome. So Austin got a John Grisham book. So I think that's a solid start. It was only a dollar. So I go to pay and I gave her a dollar tip because it's a dollar book. Like why wouldn't I tip a dollar? And she was like, no, it's only a dollar. And, and she was so kind about it and I'm like no no that's your and she's like are you sure and it's like little gestures like that really go a long way and like uh, the the woman who worked there was just greeting everyone when they came in that's something I always look for in a bookstore and another thing when you walked into the bathroom there are books all along the walls in the bathroom how cool is that like I'm not saying pick a book don't wash your hands like I'm just saying imagine using the bathroom and just being surrounded by books I feel like that's such a bookshop in a nutshell right there like you're always surrounded by books I thought it was pretty cool. So the book trader in Clark, New Jersey, I'm gonna rate it an 8.4 out of 10. I love this place. I recommend to anyone who's in the area. So then we went to Barnes & Noble, and I'm gonna keep this part really short, because I feel like most people, if you're watching this, you've probably been to Barnes & Noble before. But the, I, I actually wanna give Barnes & Noble a little bit of credit. The layout of their store is awesome. I think it's really cool how everything's so neatly separated, and they have everything separated by genre. So you really know exactly where to go if you know what you wanna look for. I love how they have a Starbucks there where people could just kind of go in and work. Now, the difference between a bookstore like Barnes & Noble and a used bookstore is Barnes & Noble will be fine no matter if you shop there or not. Like, they have so many customers and they have so many people always coming in and out of there. But these used bookstores, I feel like every customer really matters. You know, they have to pay rent every month and these are, they're already selling discounted books. So if you have the option, you can go to both. 
but you know try to make a purchase at a used bookstore every now and then but like when you walk into a Barnes and Noble I just feel like I'm at like I'm at like a mall you know and I never feel like kind of like in my own personal space at a mall I always feel like I'm kind of like surrounded by all these people because you are but like when you're in a used bookstore I really feel like it's a personal intimate experience with yourself uh, that's why I kind of would rather the used bookstores and every Barnes and Noble is somewhat similar every used bookstore is different and I'm not knocking Barnes and Noble because of course that's their corporate business it's, of course it's gonna be like that there's just something really special about going into a store and not knowing what you're gonna expect as opposed to knowing what you're gonna expect and probably having to pay more for it I don't know if I can express how excited I am to continue doing this because there's always a different books are out there for me to find so what I want to know from you guys I don't care where you are in the country in the world write your favorite bookstore my goal I get to visit every used bookstore in America so I'll see you in 40 years thank you guys so much for watching please give this a thumbs up remember stay tuned to these videos we're gonna be doing giveaways every single week so keep that in mind i will see you all next thursday